Hey, it's Natalie Baumgartner Garner again. I'm coming to you about three weeks from the last time you saw these tomatoes. So they are really taking off. We've got some good early season growth. This is actually uh, being shot the first week of June. And so these have been in the ground since about the second week of May. You know, we had some cooler, moister weather. And so they got going a little bit slow, but we've been getting some soluble fertilizer to them and uh, they're taking off pretty well. I actually want to uh, introduce you to somebody who you may sort of already know by your mailbox and your email box, but I want to introduce you to Brooke, who is working with us uh, here this summer. Hey, I'm Brooke Cadel. I am a senior at the University of Tennessee in the Plant Sciences Department, and I work for Natalie Baumgartner. And so part of my summer internship project this year is to work in these field plots, and that's important to you because if you received those seeds in the mail for your vegetable trials this summer, I played a big role in packing those and mailing them out, so hope you got the right seeds. All the seeds planted out here that you see are we have mailed to you as well, so hope you enjoy your garden and take a look at ours. The tomato plants are growing well. You can see a few blooms starting there, and we have already had to add the second layer of twine to our steak and twine system. The cucumbers and squash have been seeded for about three weeks now and most everything is up and growing well. So in addition to introducing you to Brooke and giving you a shot of what the plots look like, I wanted to share with you one of the challenges that we've been seeing in this early season. So Brooke, what are we looking at right here? We're looking at feeding damage from adult cucumber beetles on our young plants here. And as you can see, they've chewed up the leaves and this can be very damaging for the plants as it can cause um, bacterial wilt later on in the season as well as stunt their growth. And what we've gone ahead and done is applied uh, regular labeled insecticide at this early stage. It is actually a chemical compound in these young plants called cucurbitacin that attracts the beetles to these uh, young plants. And so getting an early start on it is pretty important to get good plants off and going and actually right there you can see a little dead striped cucumber beetle they're both striped and spotted and oftentimes once we get reasonable control on the early stages we don't have to spray very often later in the year here's a few beautiful shots of some beans growing as we head out thanks so much for joining in and we'll see y'all next time